skip Black Stuff Podcast. <laughs> Fuck it back to the gym. This is your boy Jared. And um So I'm gonna do a review from Please Act Right. And this is a clip from one of his recent videos that he posted nine months ago. God damn I ain't seen that video. So here we're gonna have a woman crying about you going to see. Let me, let me stop having y'all wait in suspense. And don't worry. I'm not going to stop it. I'm coming with my own commentary after the video. Let's get it. It's your boy, Lorenzo, Passport Bros Network. I got a question for like all the haters in American, you know what I'm saying? Western women and the Western simps and cucks out there you say we're taking advantage of women overseas because we have money and stuff right but when you're in america these women will tell you they want a man with money that's six figures now when we go overseas we're automatically our money triples and quadruples so we're six figures now so i'm i'm, I'm just confused so me being six figures overseas with with the woman i'm taking advantage of her and i'm a predator but if I had six figures in America and you date me and marry me, I'm not taking advantage of you. Make that make sense. Make it make sense. Exactly. You're full of shit. Yeah, yeah you're mad. It's, it's a wrap. It's over with. This is the future. Passport Bros is the future. So if we have money overseas and we date women over there, we're taking advantage of them. But if we have money over here, you know, six figures, and you date a woman over here, she doesn't see that as taking advantage of her. Hmm, interesting. My take on the passport boys, AKA these men that are leaving the country to find their wives or to find women that they feel like are more traditional than American women. First comment, grip. Like, are you guys really real? The fact of the matter is the average woman does not even require that much. So I'm guessing she just got social media yesterday. So she hasn't seen the thousands of videos of women saying that a man has to make six figures to date her. You can't be serious. As a woman in America, why in 2022 would I settle for a man that expects me to basically be a slave and maid? If you're a woman still making videos comparing basic household chores that every adult should be doing as being a slave and a maid, you are a fucking idiot. So, I, I mean, I see why y'all gotta go overseas to sell the bullshit to other women, but another thing you're missing and point you're missing is you need money. Like, it's gonna take time, energy, and money that y'all can't even give to women that live here in your own culture. You guys are delusional. First of all, we do have the money. That's why we're able to get a passport, get on a plane, and go overseas. Secondly, you got some nerve to still be making videos with this dumb rhetoric. And then have the nerve to call men who are leaving women like you delusional. It's giving you need to be in a mental health facility. Because instead of being introspective and looking at your actions, what you're doing that's maybe not working out in your favor, um, y'all would rather like go to another country and just continue the toxicity. You know how they say, don't dish it out if you can't take it? Well, the very next day, she read the comments under that video that she took down, by the way. And here's what happened. I'm at the um, the airport in Atlanta, and I'm so overwhelmed with the emotion. In addition to just feeling disrespected and unappreciated by... Oh, you mean like how you disrespected the Passport Brothers in your previous video? Men in my own life. It's another thing when you wake up to comments on the internet by other black men who just hate black women, like. See? As long as she was spitting out hatred towards men in her previous video, we should just sit back and take it. But when she gets the same energy back, now she's crying because she can't handle it. What happened to all that energy you had in the last video? Come on, pep it up. I just, I don't know. I, I feel like everything black women do is a problem. I don't feel, I don't feel safe, protected, loved around my own men. Men of my race and it hurts. Because black women so hard for y'all no you mean go so hard on us get your english right 
We go so hard for black men. And they just never do the same for us. And I'm tired. Some of the comments I read were so hateful. Just, and, and racist, like, the white man doesn't even have to do the job for you because black men do the job of white supremacy for them. Oh, now she wanna play the race card. So what do you call what you did in the previous video? <laughs> Tearing black men down for doing something that benefits us that doesn't benefit you. I've never been called ugly, unattractive, ghetto, and just all the negative things that people say about black women by anyone other than black men. Well, girlfriend, you should have seen the comment section when my channel took off. I got called every name under the sun, and guess by who? Black women. I got called old, I got called bald head, I got called little body, I got called big nose, and everything else they could think of under the sun that they would consider disrespectful. And I'm not the only one. MTR had to go through it, O'Shea Duke Jackson had to go through it, Poor Man Podcast had to go through it, even Richie Mack from Zoom to Thailand had to go through it. So welcome to a black man's world where he's blatantly disrespected by his own people. Hey, you know what? I'm sick and tired of y'all bullying us. I'm sick and tired of us being quiet. What? Wait a minute, bitch. No, 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 no. You can't go sit over here and act like y'all ass is just over here just being all delicate and delightful. I got motherfuckers in my comment section coming for me talking about Oh, this channel dead, this channel dead, this channel dead. I'm over here like, you motherfucker, you. You over here in my goddamn channel. And you see the goddamn comments coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Talking about, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you won't be talking about racism. Where is the racism? Ma'am, you, mm, damn. When the hell have y'all been quiet? For all the good women out there, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the ones that are making these passport hating videos. And y'all just wonder why we are quote unquote angry. We're not angry, we're tired. No more 2024. Yep, and we've been tired. That's yep, let me get into this. So you talking about your quote, you've been quiet, you've been respectful, you've been all this and that and that. Ma'am, for 70 plus years, no, for 60 plus, or probably yeah, 70 years, 70 plus years, black men have had to endure racism, Jim Crow, our women trashing us on a daily basis. In a drug war. We've had to endure a lot of shit. Plus having to be drafted into the military. For a country that doesn't even see us as human. You talking to me about you feeling disrespected. Bitch you've lost your fucking. You've lost your fucking plot. First of fucking all. You talking about you talking about brothers hate black women? No, we don't. We tired of the loud mouth ass women that keep on saying black men ain't shit. We're tired of black people, no, black women loving movies like the fucking color purple that puts a bad image of black men out and praising that movie for showing the quote unquote. Black men's patriarchy that you ladies love to quote unquote say that we have when we never had a fucking patriarchy. We've never oppressed. We've never oppressed you. We've never held you in bondage. We've never fucking enslaved you. We've never done any of that shit. So time out. It's time to cut that shit the fuck off. Black men have never had superiority over their women. We've always been a quote unquote equal or a equal or a fucking quote unquote matriarchy. We've always been that. Now that brothers are starting to speak out against y'all and y'all bullshit. Now you want to sit here and be like, 
Oh, black men hate black women. No, we don't. We sick and tired of you shitting on us every time you get a fucking chance. You talking about all we got is each other. The sooner we realize this, the better. Ma'am, we've been on our own the whole fucking time. You've been in the bed with Brad the whole fucking time. You've been you've been the part that keeps on giving to white supremacy. Black women have always been the right hand of black of white supremacy. Being in being in the bed with a white man, talking all this trash about black men to white men, the images y'all put out of black about black men, you think that doesn't have an effect on us? Now that we have YouTube in a bunch in a few spaces compared to your hundreds of thousands of spaces plus Oprah and all these other channels that love to tell, say that black men ain't shit. Now you crying that black men finally got a small voice that's putting out putting out our reality. Now you want to sit here and cry. It's funny how y'all love to switch switch it up and say, "Oh, we ain't been quiet the whole time." Look, matter of fact, fuck it. Let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and show you. Okay, nope, that's a fucking fake. Let's let's go ahead and do this. The color purple. The color purple. 1985 is when the first color purple came out. 2023 is when the remake comes out. So you're telling me that this is something that y'all been quiet about. The original color purple was was um produced by Steven Spielberg and written by Mono Mono Moraes Mayes what the fuck the name is and it was produced by Oprah. Oprah pay Oprah plays Sophie. Celie. Albert was played by um Danny Glover. All these black people played in this movie. And yet it 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 was out it was to be a dis- destruction of the image of the black man. Yet you want to sit here and complain about brothers having a voice, a little small voice on the internet. Now you want to sit here and complain. It's funny how y'all want to sit here and complain and then black men have been quiet this whole time. Now y'all want to sit here and and say that black men hate black women. We no, we don't. We're tired of the ones that are the most vocal saying that black men ain't shit. When they choose the ain't shit niggas out there. You could tell a productive black man from an ain't shit nigga. You, you ain't gonna sit here and tell me that you can't. You can see it with your own two eyes. You can tell by the way they talk. You can tell by the way they hold their hold their um hold themselves up. You can tell by the way that they think, their thought process, every little thing you can tell about a person. You choose to be with these type of men. And then you fucking get mad when brothers call that shit out. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I know I was laughing. But I was laughing because of the situation. Yeah, I was laughing. Mm-hmm. That was laughing. And I don't feel bad about it. I, I, I don't feel bad at all. All about it. Excuse me, I don't care. You want to sit here and act like you want to sit here and act like black men are this or black men are the bad guys of the century. No, sorry, it ain't gonna happen like that. Anyways, like, subscribe, channel, support the podcast on spotify.com. We'll see you guys on the flip side. I will see you guys later. Good night, guys.